Happy Wednesday, everyone. Good to be with you. Our scripture today is Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through 26. I'm going to read an excerpt of that section here. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the Spirit, and what the Spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. My observation of this is Paul's writing to the church in Galatia, um, a church of Jewish people who have come to accept Jesus as the Messiah. And so how, to, how do they understand their relationship with God? How do they understand God's salvation? Is it by doing certain things, um, even if God has said it in Scripture to do such things? Or is it by receiving God's very spirit, God's very, God's very life uh, within us? And that's what Paul is saying. And that the fruits of the Spirit aren't things that we necessarily can do or will ourselves to do. We don't always have the capacity to do, but God does. God living within us can do things like love. When it's hard to like a person, we, God within us can still love that person. The Spirit can do things like joy. When we're not happy, Still, even in unhappiness, in, in struggle and suffering, God's presence is a strength that can give us joy, patience, kindness, generosity. When we think we lack and we have scarcity, that doesn't stop us from being generous because of the Spirit. Faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. When we just feel like we're, we're going to give up and... Uh, not be gentle to our neighbors who are getting on our last nerve. Um, we still have that self-control because of the Spirit whose love and joy, the presence of God, is a strength beyond our own. And so that's my prayer today. Please join me. Holy God, be with us. By your Spirit, give us love and joy. Give us peace and patience. Give us kindness and generosity. Give us faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control when we can't do these things on our own, when we face struggles, you can do these things for our sake and for the sake of loving our neighbor and letting your word be known that you are with us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God bless you.